time I was here, I woke them and ended up with a mane full of bats. <sighs> Thanks for being my basket holder, Spike. Basket holder? I thought I was your bodyguard. What? <laughs> yes, yes, that of course, too. Hashtag masculinity so fragile. I'm so glad you two could come. Of course. We so rarely get a chance to relax and just visit. There's usually some crisis we have to deal with. And by we, we mean you. It is the call of the Dragon Lord. Dragons glow whenever the Dragon Lord has need of them in the Dragonlands. The dragons were not known for their eloquent marketing. If I have to go to the Dragonlands, would you two come with me? Oh my goodness, I'd love to. We are sadly lacking any information on dragon culture and customs. I could research them, maybe even write an article. This could be my chance to make a great contribution to the knowledge of Equestria. Princess Twilight, Eternal Optimist. Hey, that's my rock. Oh, really? Then why aren't you sitting on it? <laughs> <laughs> why, if I weren't so tiny and adorable, I'd brutalize the stuffing out of you. This is fascinating. Dragons are notoriously reckless, but they do whatever the Dragon Lord says. That's how autocracy works, Twilight. You live in one. How do you not know this? He is rather tiny. <laughs> I could squish him with my pinky claw. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a joke, it was a fact. Oh, come on, my lord, it can be both. Haven't you heard of my work? Very well, little dragon. I release you. Thank you, and thank you. When I'm in charge, the first thing I'll do is get revenge on those puny ponies. They'll regret they ever crossed Garble. We'll take whatever we want from Equestria and burn the rest. You know what? I want this to happen. All of Equestria and likely Sunset Shimmer teaming up to fight an invading horde of dragons? That'd be cool. Good luck. Just kidding. I hope you lose. <laughs> what is it with these dragons and their toxic masculinity? Whatever. I don't care as long as none of you get in my way. I have a gauntlet to win. But I thought your dad said that- I don't care what my dad said. I'll show him, and every dragon who thinks I'm just some little princess, there are better things than being big and strong. I bet Twilight and Rarity do not understand the concept of princess being an insult. Stupid sling tails knock me down, but I've wasted enough time making small talk. Get it? <laughs> because you're too small to win this. I'm funny. This guy is like the dragon version of Milo Yiannopoulos, except he's not a sniveling, self-hating f Don't look at me like that, I know what I said. Listen, Spike, I wouldn't have made it this far without you. So I guess if you want to, we could keep working together. I mean, just until we get through that tunnel. I mean, it's not like I appreciate your help or anything. Right Stupid runt. Whoever wrote this episode should die! It's a Galaxy Quest joke. You guys suck. You just risked everything to save her. And they're putting themselves in danger just to support you. Well, that's just what friends do. Don't you have anyone who looks out for you? Friends are for communists and liberals. Unless I count you. Which I don't, because we were only helping each other get through the tunnel, and now we're through the tunnel, so that's it. Is the internet gonna call her a sun-dry tomato? Billy, do you mean sundre? Maybe. I like yours better, and yes, yes they will. I think this is how Batman v Superman ended. Dovakin, Dovakin, Naloxin, Los Varin, Wadin, Vakul, Mafirak, Asval, Akvin, Norak, Paldran, Fodnison, Zindrosan, Dovakin, Vahingogan, Mutral. You did well, Spike. With Ember as Dragon Lord, the ponies will be safe, and you've gained us a powerful ally. You have officially done more for Equestria than all of the princesses combined. And I gained tons of ideas for a new line of camouflage clothing. Call it Camel Mod. The first one makes you look like a rock. They all make you look like rocks. Mm -hmm.